All right. Hello. I'm back. It's morning again while I'm recording. I think I did this for an XCOM video at some point before this. A lot of these videos are pre-recorded, like, way in advance. They are all pre-recorded, like, a week in advance, usually. But my spring break is coming up, and I still have a lot of stuff that I want to do in these, uh, in these games. Also, I'm really enjoying it. Usually, I don't have time to create uh, anything while I have a lot of motivation to create. Um, but this is probably the first year that I both have the motivation and have something to do. Does that zombie see me? Why is it on this? Uh, I guess the skeleton sees me too. I guess it's only a horizontal range and not a vertical range. No, the skeleton doesn't see me. Anyways, I'm King of Badden. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I got two things that I really want to do. I want to set up the quarry first and foremost. Um, I think I want to set it up along the first two cores. I want to set up along the sides of the, um, farm. I don't know why. I just feel like they'd be cool just to see this whole little, the industrial thing. What, what the fuck? This one, I need a long range weapon. Could have hit him with the who the fuck and then just shot the arrow straight at him. Am I one minute in? I'm going to say I'm one minute in. I don't think, I, as soon as I started recording, I started talking. I already have this set up over here, the um, chunk loader. I probably need to make a few more at this point and also make some more solar panels. But yeah, so the first thing that I'm going to do actually is to set up my quarry down that side. I already cleared out the chest for it. Um, hang on. Let me see. I ended up not streaming because I, really, I don't enjoy streaming as much, probably because I don't have that big of a following. So it's not that busy uh in the chat which is the main reason that i see the stream okay so these are done i think in the last video i said that this had gotten emptied out i don't know if i want to set up a new one yet but um yeah if i flip this over is it just gonna pull from those tanks no no it's not so this is the first thing that i need to fix actually then uh, 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 okay, and what we'll do is, I already picked up all the engines and stuff that I need for the quarry. The last thing I need to do is grab the quarry at this point. Let me make sure I have as much fuel as possible. And I believe that since that's done, which one is the lowest one? You are. I think I, I just filled up my oxygen tank too. Or did I pick it back up? No, I need to pick that up too. Because we're going to be doing work underwater. Okay. So now if I set up just a normal gold fluid pipe right here, it should connect to everything. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot how high up it was. I almost, set, I almost started panicking like I got stuck or something. Okay, and we want to pick up our yellow, white, yellow. That's the one for refined fuel. Put it right about here. Okay, I do need to have the pumped out then. So let me set that up first. I don't know if I can uh, pull from all of them at once, like in the same direction. So I'll probably have to have go one go... That one's going to be difficult to pull from, but that's the last tank I need to pull from, actually. I probably want to pull from this one first, the uh, biggest tank. And then if I run out of fuel before that thing is finished, I can just uh, come over and change it. I don't know why I didn't put this one in. All right. So, I'll put it right here, actually, and pull from both of these tanks at the same time. Because I can do an L that way and an L this way. Uh, you'll see right now. Foot pipe, boop, 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 hello, boop, there we go, boop, boop, all right, I did have to set this up, man, I was trying to see if I could, um, get the tank to pull from these without having to set up the, uh, these redstone engines, because I know I can get the tank to push into them without any problem. 
and now this should fill up i need to actually yeah i think i should have left that thing over here all right so now this is filled up so that's our fuel our main fuel at least i don't know if i'm going to use the residue again i was using the residue as a backup because i wanted to stack uh on gas the gasoline the, or gaseous fuel i think is what it's actually called and now over here oh, i still need to move all this tin okay so i have this gray pouch now i don't know if i talked about this in the last episode but i made this gray pouch so i can um instantly move stuff into the computer and if I do it this way, once I get back, I can just uh, search ore in the system and it'll take everything out. Or I should be able to find it that easily. And I hope these filters are blank. They're not. Can I make them blank easily? I can't. <sighs> Let me do it manually then. Uh... Uh, I keep forgetting how to do it. It should be, I th most stuff lets you, uh, just craft it again, like put it in a crafting grade and then it'll be blank. Uh, I guess this isn't one of those things. Is all, is all you even now? Okay, cool. Um, so this chest is empty. My pickaxe is finna break too. So I need to do something with that. All these are empty? Yeah. Empty, empty. I'm trying not to load my inventory up as soon as I break these. And I'm probably going to cheat a little bit in this episode. It's going to start off with that. Because in order to put stuff in that uh, this diamond thing. To filter it out. It will require you to have one of those blocks. But I know what I don't want already. And where I want stuff to go. So we're going to teleport back to the workshop I guess. I need to put a... A teleportation point next to the farm and one next to the well beacon is what they are actually but you can teleport to them so same difference i guess at that point but anyways i need to set up i need to clear out a space for this first um and then i'll just bore backwards a little bit and doing it like this will give it some cover from literally everything else. Also, I should be able to just route things over once they get through. So the first thing, actually, that we need to do is... um, Where is it at? Where are they at? There they are. This. And I need a redstone torch, actually. That's another thing I need to set up. I'll, I need to do some more work with the computer, too. I think I'll do that in the next episode. Or still in this one, actually. Because there's another way that I can uh, interact with it. I don't know why I keep flying to the top. It's not faster anymore. Oh, missed. Yeah, it's not faster anymore. It was for like, I don't know, a small amount of time. Stick. What? Oh, okay. My thing was over further than I thought, I guess. When the line for lost capacity came up, it threw me off. I probably need a few of these actually. Oh, I don't need to do that. I do four. So I need the angel blocks also. So the angel block is a block that lets you if, if you want to if I want to build something floating, I would start it with an angel block because I can just go up and the angel block just gets placed where my face is. And I can ooh I missed it. Alright. And um <laughs> and I can um just land on it and then start building from that point. I don't know if my tor my pickaxe is going to make it. How much durability? 27. And it has insatiable on it. So maybe I should look into getting these also. I have the stuff to make it. And I have the experience now too. I also like this house now. It's very monochromatic on the inside. Just black and white. Which I'm not. I don't have any issue with that at all. I like the way this wood looks. And then I'm going to do the blood wood uh, planks for the walls. Because I like the... Uh, the red here, and then the red on pink over there. And then I did it kind of like a, in real life, I think it's called, no, not a split level, a story and a half. A split level would be if you walk in, you can go downstairs, and there's more stuff upstairs. It's kind of like you walk into halfway through a floor. But a story and a half is basically what I've made here. It's kind of the compromise that I ended up settling on, I think. It, it's either that or a two-story. I can't, I can't do a ranch. 
this the thing that I've discussed with my girlfriend for the future. I think did this go all exactly to where we needed it to go? That's pretty great actually. So I don't even need this angel lock. Um you just use some cobblestone. Oop. And now I put this one down. And to see this other corner, put a redstone. So these are just marking off. Like marking off. They're basically. Oop. They're basically landmarkers. Sorry if that was all super loud. I turned up the volume for XCOM in my mixer, but I don't change the mixer for. Um. between the two games because I don't know how to save a specific setting for a specific like type of project in OBS and I don't know if that's a possibility either come on all right there we go I didn't need to do that all right that one is set up now and now I just need to find the end of this one because they'll all be connected I don't need to make that one extend super far because this corner has that covered uh, I do want to pick up this coal while I'm here, which means I'm probably going to break my pickaxe, getting distracted. Yep, there it is. Uh, so, I guess I'll use my, this thing. The only downside about this, going through this mountain like this, is um, it would... It now needs to clear out all of these blocks. You'll see when it starts up. But it's going to have to clear out all the blocks that are in there. So it's going to have to clear out that whole mountainside. It's going to be a smooth, uh, a sheer drop, basically, a cliff. I'm doing it over water also because um, I think I talked about this before. But as it goes down, the quarry stops if it hits lava. But doing it over water means that that lava is instantly transformed into... Into... Uh, that's broken. Into, damn, obsidian. There you go. Damn, took me the longest to say that. Did I pick up the quarry yet? I didn't. Also, it doesn't make sense. Where did I build that, that hole at? I don't think it makes sense for it to be way over there, actually. Or at least that small. I could just make it bigger. So I know the quarry is going to connect right here. And then I can just take things straight out. And then I'll make it easier because I'm probably going to just run another one on the opposite side and pick up this whole system that I have here to run my uh, my water because I use so much of it right now. Uh, again, I talked about this, how much of a resource water is that we really take for granted. Um, I have to set up solar fives for this too, which is a whole process. And then... I have, how many do I have in here? One, two, the, the original two, the third one I stuck in the middle. I think that's the fourth one. So I have to expand again. I go to a fifth one on that side. Hopefully I don't have to. Um, but I am also going to start using even more water to cool down these things, these engines. I'm probably just going to dunk them in the water right here. To Hopefully that will help with their uh, cooling also. So let me make it even deeper hole actually. Is that cool? Okay. So now I have a lot of cobblestone. I need to get the quarry itself at this point. I need to repair my pickaxe at this point. Uh, brain, no work. Okay, there we go. So now I do want to make this pickaxe real quick. Do I have, I have moss? Moss. I have this. So I can make a moss ball. Which is that. I don't need these filters right now. And then it takes... 10 levels to transform it. So I need the... Rod. Where is it at? I leave it in this chest. Also, I had to organize everything when I put every uh when I grabbed up that whole other um base because a lot of it was like oh there's only one of this item, 
but it still takes up a decent amount of space in the uh thing so as i was moving stuff i had to make more of these i had to make 64 k's just because it makes no sense to make the little ones anymore since i had the resources to i left one open so i could show you the process of making a 64 k though but i need to set all that up because i made it at the other base with its resources because i still had the thing set up over there and then moved everything over here so i will be showing you that in um at some point Oh, uh, what did I come here to do to put mending moss on my, it's, oh, I went a little over. All right, I have to find a bookshelf. I think I have books, don't I? Book. Why is that caps? That's what's throwing me off. Book. Can I make books? Okay, and then I want, I want, where are they at? Jungle, do, 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 do. silver bell, no, ghostwood bookshelf. Okay, um, I'm going to cheat in that ghostwood bookshelf because I want the ghostwood bookshelf. I don't know why it does this either. This is, this is the, this is why I have to cheat in. I told you about the, um, the bloodwood, uh, the bloodwood fences that I wanted to use, I had to cheat those in because it won't let me craft them, even with the um the stuff. If I drop that over there, it gets deleted. Okay. Um. So now I bring that. I have an enchanting table set up under here because it seemed like a nice little spot to put it. Uh, there, and then I bring out the mending moss. Probably should have made more than one of these, but I don't know if anything else has space for it. This will be the second thing I put it on. Modifiers for no available modifiers. It's because I'm still comfortable with this. I'm not uh, anything past that. All right, so let's put the mending moss on. I think I still need to repair it. Uh, is it broken still? Oops. Yeah, durability zero, so it's still broken. I think all my men you and it's also inside too. There's a lot of back and forth, but it does make sense to me at least to have them separate. Uh, man, didn't click in the box, man. And I should only need like two or three. I'll do two because the mending muscle will bring its uh, durability up over time. But yeah, I put these over here because that's where they were before they were in my house. So I thought I just might as well put them back. Um, so I did that. Cool. All right, now we can get back into it. Workshop, 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 starting base. So now I just need the quarry. Hopefully I can get rid of all of this at once. I can't. Okay, it does just does go away. So now there's just the deep hole. You can see down there, that's a that's a ravine that it broke into, but not all the way. And that's filled up from those. Okay. So my fuel over here is ready to go. So I can go back to the... I'm close to being able to delete the starting base uh, thing. Actually, no, I shouldn't because obviously my oil refining is here. Workshop. I like when I fall through, I should probably put the workshop thing on the first floor instead of in the middle of a system on the second floor. But I have a lot of stuff to set up over here right now. I need to bring the chest too. I don't think I have space to do that though. I also need to eat. Let me, let me do some inventory organization right quick and then I'll bring y'all right back. Alright, inventory is cleared out. Uh, I think it did that because I wasn't technically clicked into the game. All right, we see the quarry set up. There's no markers on that side, so hopefully it won't, for some crazy reason, grab all of that, and we'll stick to what we set up fully over there. Um, I think it should though. It's usually pretty smart. Uh, they're trying to port this one up to, um, what is it? Why? Why is it like this? I'll probably fast forward through this at this point. Oh, also the music that I use, uh, someone was talking to me about it. 
the music that I use comes from the, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, never mind. Don't have to do shit about that. I forgot to actually connect them. And now it'll work. Boop. Okay. Yeah, the music that I use comes from my uh, recording softwares. And as far as I can tell, they said it's uncopyrighted, so I don't have to credit them necessarily. Also, don't have the artist name. So the only way that I can give credit in that sense is to credit the the recording software itself which doesn't feel like it's giving credit to the creators of the each individual song that i use because i am i'm almost certain that each person is making these songs in their own like it's not it's not um it's not music made by people in the company i feel like it's music made by others that they sold to the company uh because all of them sound so very different it doesn't there's no two songs that have sounded like they came from the same person that or they just have a very uh they have one person doing it and they're just very diverse in their music either way though i still don't get the person's name and i don't want to credit the i don't want to not credit that person i don't want to give credit to the wrong person for something else if that makes sense all right wooden fluent pipes i don't have a normal pipe there we go and I have 20 of these. So what I want is, again, I'll bring out a diamond pipe and this. I, do I have the gray chest? I need another gray chest too, don't I? A light gray chest. Um, No, because that's going to shoot up. It's like it's going to fill up my... um my computer system and that, those are very expensive to make i'd have to make a whole another drive bank prop oop, uh, ooh, let me pop my knuckle not touching my mouse i just make a whole another drive bank but anyways as it was previously set up previously set up wooden pipe comes out the top because everything has to go through a wooden pipe first then i use gold pipe second because those move things the fastest but bring it all the way to this wall and then as it hits this wall i think i'm gonna actually i'm gonna break it off no, I want to put a little dance here in the wall. That's how I want to do it. I'm going to bring it even to where the wall just was. Right? No. I'm going to bring it even to the wall with this diamond pipe. That way I can utilize as many of its openings as possible. So that one's the green side. I don't need to put anything in the green filter. Then I need to... For five, I, I think I have five, right? Diamond chest. Yeah, I didn't hit put that last one down because it was in my face. Do I want this to be that close to the filter though? I don't think so. I put it one away. Oops, I don't know why I double clicked like that. Five. All right, so these will be just the general chest. Anything that comes through can go through there. Down here is going to be the trash can. I don't, I don't need any more cobblestone. So I'm not going to even let that go in here i need to fence off this area so a creeper can't get in too but for now i'm just gonna hide in this corner and hope for the best so i don't want andesite at all I don't, i'm not gonna use it what color is that black okay so andesite black and you see i have to click on something to put it there i can't just click in here or help doesn't bring anything up it maybe it loads a, another web page or something um but yeah so this is how I have to do it. Andesite, diorite, andesite, diorite, granite, granite. I did. T I took a screenshot actually of what I was supposed to put in here. So let me pull that up actually. Um, um, where is it at? Where would it be at? Hopefully in camera roll pictures. Saved pictures now. Uh, damn, what is? Hang on, let me minimize this for a second. Close that for a second. Hmm, it's supposed to be. I thought I said it to come here. Maybe it's in here. It is okay. So y'all won't see it quite yet, but I will show you the list. Um, spring this full of screen. So cobblestone. 
cobble, cobble, can't spell, there we go, cobblestone, uh, limestone, and sand are in there too, lime, oh, can't just stop there, stone, there we go, I don't, I don't really like the color of limestone in this game, it's very, it's a weird, like, off yellow color, not off yellow, off white yellowish color, or it's just straight up limestone, not chiseled. Uh, um. Well, I know it's not raw. Or is limestone from the chisel? No, it's not. So, I guess it's this one. It looks the same in color to that other one. Dirt, of course. I almost skipped over that. Don't need that much dirt. Dirt is everywhere. Easy to find. Don't need to worry about it. Dirt. Um... Okay. And then I had that's basalt and marble that I want going into oh no. Not all of these were over here actually. That is correct. I had one for the basalt and marble actually. So the basalt and marble can keep coming forward. And that that'll be yellow. So, and basalt is that black rock that I told y'all about that only spawns near lava. I'm going to use it to accent um, my raw basalt. That's not where I'm supposed to be putting it. I'm going to use it to accent my building, my uh, workshop, when I have enough of it to fully do that. Um, because I don't like, I don't necessarily like the straight up white. I do like monochromatics, I guess, since I'm going to do black and white on that too. I'll try and mix up the colors later, but I want to make some lamps, um, that are different colors and I'll use those two to change it up a little bit. Now marble. Um, there. And for, I need coal to come out on its own thing too. I did have coal set up, but actually I don't need that because over here I can have, ooh, I hope it all fits though. Uh, only need one space for the marble and all that to go. I'm going to go sleep because I don't want to be distracted by monsters. There we go the frame of my unfinished house i think i have everything else to finish at least the outside i don't have the 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 way i want to light it up yet because they're gonna have to make those lamps so i keep i know in the last episodes i always say i'm going to do that in the next episode and i probably haven't done that that often i was going to say in the next episode i'll make those lamps but i'm pretty sure i've said that before okay so now what we want is these to be moved and all that. I think I want more diamond pipes though. Because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more diamond pipes. I'm gonna go make those real quick. I should have everything I need in here to make them. Cause I'm pretty sure it should just be glass and diamonds. I would think, I would hope. That's the cheapest method of making something out of diamonds is you can just do it. Diamond. Uh, do I see them yet? I do now. Wooden diamond. Anyways. Oops. Forgot about that. R. Yeah, it is just diamonds and glass. Let's make two, two sets of them. And now what I have to do is filter off every every uh, block that I want. And I don't think this is going to use the or dictionary. Uh, I'm going to explain that real quick too because I just had an understanding of it. So copper is the best way to look, look at it. Copper ore. So it's these three different types of copper ore. Forestry, uh, mechanism, and thermal expansion. Oh, and Volpe's library, right? So 
you can hold shift on things to get more information and underneath it it says or dictionary name dash or copper and all of these things are dash or copper so that means that they're all interchangeable basically so when something says it needs copper it needs it doesn't need copper from bulbs it needs dash or copper but this sorting thing doesn't do that i don't think at least it's very it's a more basic one uh but while i have the copper open what's what do they need to go blue i hope the copper doesn't fill this all up blue blue forestry mechanism thermal expansion volts all right yeah i don't know if i have enough space for those anymore oops shit goes fast now i don't think it goes any faster than it did before i just don't think i noticed how fast it went where did i put those oh right in the corner i was gonna get mad for no reason and now also i don't if you don't put a filter i think they just go wherever they want to so because there's no white they can't go white obviously green is where they're coming in from so it can't go back that way uh the only way that they can go is red unless they're told to go somewhere else so that's how it should move if i'm remembering correctly so now i can drop the orange chest that's copper underneath there so red it'll keep pushing through as it hits black it's going to try and filter out the copper ore did i grab the right one hang on oops didn't mean to put two there I don't, want, I don't know what putting two there is going to do. I'm just going to clean it all out. Make sure it's done right the first time. Don't want any breaks in the system. Otherwise, it would be a mess to clean up later. I'd have a chest full of copper. Because the, uh, in the system, they only pull out their um, material. All right, what's next? Iron. Iron should be next, actually. So at this point, I'm probably going to go up with it uh, and keep going that way because I realized how much tin ore there is also, different tins there are, and I don't have the space right here to do that. Um, so which way is that going to be? White? So white's going to hit tin. Which way is green? Green is where it's coming from. Red is where I want everything else to go. So tin should be fine in here. And then also my coal needs to be uh, siphoned out. 10 or uh, I wanted that to go to white right okay so 10 10 platinum can't do shit with that folks is it only three types of 10 forestry yeah I almost missed the forestry one uh, I don't even know if I should be quad quintupling tin though. I have a shit ton of tin. Um, I'm kind of scared of what tin's gonna do to my uh volts, thermal foundation, mechanism, forestry, forestry, thermal foundation, mechanism, volts. All right. This animal may be depreciated. Placed in the crafting grid to get some resources back. Interesting. Uh, so 
Uh, and I also want to put coal in there. God damn it. There we go. Oh, there's a block right there I can stand on. Okay, so now I want to put this one here and have this. I actually want the first thing to come off to be coal. I mean, it doesn't matter, actually. It should be just as simple to set up. Uh, don't know what color it's going to be, actually, because it's pushing it to black. Uh, 10 is light blue, I believe. Hopefully, I'm not getting that wrong. The only mix-up would be uh, 10 and... Osmium, yeah, those two are the ones that would be getting mixed up. I made their colors a little too similar. I tried to make it similar to either the ore or the ingot itself. Uh, I couldn't remember that what color tin was when it came out, but either way, tin I think is white uh, when it comes out through that process. Um, but white is already salt, so can it do that one? It is just four of them, right? Yeah, four. So between the copper and the tin, I would have filled up this whole row. Um, so I guess it's. I sh it would have made more sense to do the copper and tin this way and then had the other things that way, but we're already here, so it's whatever. Oh, I guess I could just, I could have had them stacked on top of each other instead of going in a straight line out too. But I kind of like that look better. It'd be more fun to look at later on when I'm doing nothing. And then the black one here is going to be coal. Coal. Ooh, look who can't spell. That's me. No, I was just typing too fast that time. I know how to spell coal. Uh, it's blue, right? Coal goes to blue. Yeah. And then coal in here goes to white. And then clear that out. Clear that out. All right, this whole quarry setup thing is taking way longer than I thought it would. Okay. All right. So now I need to switch to underwater, I guess. For the rest of my stuff, which means I need to... What are these gold chests for? Did I miss something? I know I didn't miss anything. I think I just switched these gold chests out from... They were collecting the coal and stuff. Not the... Coal, actually, yeah. Coal was one of them that they were collecting. As well as... As well as the marble and cobblestone as well. But I don't want to keep any more cobblestone. I don't want my my stuff to need to be filled up like that again. Also, I realized I made plans to put a quarry on both sides of this thing. I don't think I need to do that. Uh, this area seems pretty rich in resources, too. I see some there, some there. I mean, it, it is mountainous. Um... But yeah, I need to go get my oxygen real quick. Let me set up a beacon over here and call this, what is it? N, new, the, the, quarry. We'll make it, is there a gray? I, I should be able to find a gray. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. I'm making it a color. I don't think they're not going to show up anyways. Um, plant it on, and is off, nether is off, overworld is on, planet is on, save. So yeah, the quarry appears, but all the rest have been turned off. I think eventually the quarry is just going to turn itself off too, though. Unless I can edit, workshop on, save. No, that didn't, that didn't turn it back on, right? Yeah. Anyways... Let me go grab my uh thing real quick. Oh no. Um Why did it do that? This is not what I wanted. Teleport to the quarry. In edit plan it off save uh edit Plan it off, save, dimension, um, um, chicken. I hope it doesn't kill me or crash my game. It'd be nice if it didn't crash my game, too. Uh, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna take my drunk ass, or I guess oxygen depleted ass over to here. Sorry if this is woozy for you, but it's woozy for me, too. So we're doing this together, boys and girls. Probably mostly girls, I think, at this point. I don't think it's an even mix. 
I think most of my friends watch it. I think a lot of my friends are girls. Oxygen. That's what I'm here for. All right, this boy's finished. Turns out for the longest time, this was, this wasn't getting water, so I was just sitting here doing nothing, and I started running out of oxygen as I was setting up this system. Also, let me check while I'm here, that I said, ooh, oops, okay, cyan, cyan is osmium, light blue is tin, gold is yellow, gray is iron, copper is orange, lead is purple, light gray pushes into the chest. And that was dark gray as iron. You know, I checked that in the worst, so I could have just come up here. I forgot that I had it clear open to see. Also, this floor is probably going to be a little trippy. I did get to the second level of the alloy smelter. It was a bitch to get to. I had to make this capacitor to actually let it get powered. It's a whole thing with that uh, with that mod. I think I'm going to be ready to do armor in the next episode. Hopefully by that point, because uh, after this video comes out, I won't be recording for a while, I think. I, I might be lying because I might keep recording until I leave for break. My my, um. When this comes out, my spring break would have just ended. Um, so that's why I'm recording so far ahead because I don't want to stop making videos for that because I did just come off of winter break and then had like an extra month or two of not making videos. During winter break, so that's turned back on. I need to look into that mod myself. What the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, okay. Damn, really forgot what I was doing. Mask up gas up all right that that can move um where they at that these i don't need those i do need those i need fuck an ender tank give me a second let me just make sure i have everything all right so i think i have everything now to quarry um i wanted to go back today again i have to fight a zombie real quick hello Ah, not my jetpack. I guess I'll just do this shit then. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this block and that block. Night vision would be nice too under here. Do I have cobblestone? I should at this point because I've been blasting away at those walls. Okay, so I need to know where not to build, which would be at this point. So this is my build limit for horizontalness. Probably should turn it back on, turn it off, and then jumped in after turning it on first. So it's gonna give me these, these little bubbles, which you know is how oxygen tanks work pretty much all the time. Alright. So since that's under there, I don't think it's gonna break those because the quarry doesn't actually function in that zone. Uh where's the easiest place to put these? I want them kind of pretty submerged to make sure. That if water can possibly cool them down from an environmental standpoint instead of being pushed into them, that is actually going to do it. Okay. And. Keep doing this. I have 12 of these. I might go grab extra ones too or expand these further. I want two three four five six didn't count this out it just worked out two three do i want it like that oops underwater everything goes slower when you're hovering things go slower also so if i misclick here it's going to take a little bit longer than usual it's so like that right and then I want to do a little bit extra off the edge. Let me see. Their temperature is still uh, 20 degrees. So if there's an effect, it only be in how fast they heat up. But I know with this fuel, they heat up way faster, which is why I use the residue to power uh, this process, the process of making the fuel. That way I didn't have to worry about the heat as much. And then I want to flip this over because this is where I want things to be extracted from. Fluid extraction pipe. Let's see if this fills up. It does. So I don't have to worry about powering that. Six. There's salt right there. So now these things are all getting fuel. Right. So over time they'll be filling up with fuel. Uh, Is that... 
what is this? What's in front of me? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, my farm. I forgot I was underneath that. But, ooh, do I have space? I do have space. You can put a lever upside down. Can't put a lever underwater, though. Can't do that. Um, so I guess I'm not going to power that. Not unless I use, like, a Sterling engine. But that's just going to overheat and stop anyways. Oh, well, well, we'll get to that in a second. And then I need water to go into all of these. So I'll do that from below. I can't hover. I need to eat also. Wait, can I land? Actually, I don't need to break these blocks. I need to be breaking the ones next to it. I don't know where that just went. Oh, I do know where it just went because it's it's just not what I thought I put down. I missed. Okay, cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. And it's the blocks underneath the things that I need to break. So one end from this side. That's not it. That is it. It is, okay. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm going to leave this here because I need a, a gap underneath to actually turn them on. That is also something I didn't think about when I started putting them underwater. One. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think there's one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let me do this to the other side now. That, there, there's, that's them. So that's a gap. So this should be where they need to go, right? Because there was still space uh, open on that side right there, it allowed water to pour in. Watch me do it again and immediately break another hole in. Yeah, I know I would. Um, Two? Yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, I have a bunch of levers, don't I? I hope I do. I don't. All right, I'm gonna go grab those again. All right, I got them back now, damn. We are 53 minutes in and I have not gotten to the house. Either this is going to be an extra long episode or we're just not getting to the house. All right, let's see here. I can now, I should be able to put the water on top of this. The water here, like right on top, right? Okay, or not. Oh, of course, I misplaced that, too. The thing that's going to take the longest to break. All right. Uh, I need to have the extraction pipe. Pipes on either side. Uh, trap myself in, uh, as you do when you build. Um, and then I can break all this off, right? Yeah, so I can freely break this stuff off. I don't want to accidentally break an engine because it's going to leave a mess of uh, fuel crystals or whatever on the ground. And I don't have a mod that automatically moves those. I should have uh, looked for one. Like if I if my hand becomes empty of something that I was building with, it won't automatically refill refill with that item. There's a mod that let, that does that. Uh, I don't have that because uh, first mod pack I made it myself. Uh, not first, second, but I didn't have it in not even second either. But I didn't have it in my um didn't have it in my first few ones because I didn't think about it until I was working with Buildcraft some more. Cause I didn't have I've made more up to date ones because like I said, Buildcraft is out of date, which is the one that adds all of these things. I'm also running out of uh these pipes. So I'm gonna have to grab some more of those. You would think I was wasn't prepared the way I'm getting having to run back and forth so much. But again, I'll be right back. Are these full up yet? Ooh, that's not good. That could have messed up a lot of stuff, actually. It's not bad, though. Could have been worse. Uh, I'm just going to put these in there. I was trying to check how much, how full these things were. And if I should try and set up an engine right here. I don't think I will, though. Water, water. Up one. 
and what did where did that just go connect no i don't want that actually i needed the uh i needed a wooden one right here okay what if what what is this even on i don't know how i put this down i mess i guess i just missed in the weirdest way possible so are these getting water now They are getting water now. Okay. And now we can add in their levers, which I didn't even put on the other side. Brought them all the way down for no reason, essentially. Can you put a lever underwater? No, okay. Just checking. I don't remember if I put those on the inside or the outside, so I'm just gonna put them on. No, don't turn on yet. It's gonna be a waste of fuel. And now I just need to, where are they at? Right here. I need to put these gold kinesis. Oh, I didn't think about that one, huh? Oh wait, no, that's fine. I can uh, do that, that. That. I picked up my mouse on accident and then tried to push the button still. That, uh, that, there, this, that, that, that. And then gold kinesis pipes. Two, three, four, five. This is actually a more efficient way of doing it than I originally thought of. At first, I was going to bring up each one, bring them up one, and then connect them like bring them all up and then bring them forward and then connect over here instead of connecting immediately like that that makes way more sense uh that farm really helped me out there okay so now everything set for this there's not that much fuel in the system though so i'm not sure if i want to um oh wait i can uh i should be able to sneak underneath right uh let's see let's see that's the last block for that Skip a block. The fuel should be right there. So one forward from that should be this one. And that is the wooden pipe coming off the fuel. So I can drop a redstone engine in there. And this will speed up how fast it's coming out. And do what I did before, which was cover everything underneath it with cobblestone. To make that... Oh, shit. Oh, I ran out of fuel. Or oxygen. I'm finna drown because I ran out of oxygen. God damn it. Alright. Almost fell. I died because I, um... I'm, yeah, I'm still about to die. That's annoying. I think I only had one experience on me, though. That's why I've been putting my experience away. The only thing I need to find... Urgently... Are my tools my sword is the last thing that i need to find because it's such a high level and you can't really fake that let's not drown again trying to find everything oh my goodness there's my axe my sword i picked up and everything else i think was right there anyways that was that was annoying uh, that's back on, that's back on. These two, no, that's not back on yet. But my free runners can go back on. <sighs> Let me reorganize everything and put some more gas in this now. I, I think I've got everything set back up. I've hit exit a few times while I'm still in the OBS window. Hopefully that hasn't messed everything up because it's been an hour at this point. Uh, I've been awake for um, an hour and 20 minutes. So that'd be annoying in teleport to last death because i am still missing some stuff no not in Three. i'm missing the levers and the redstone engines oh and the, the fluid pipes so there's more stuff down here that i'm missing i probably should have brought some glowstone blocks so i could see a little better but back to what we were doing before i was interrupted god damn it 
cobblestone. I probably am missing some other stuff. I think I have everything that's important. Okay, there's a bubble in here, right? Yep. So now that should be gone and going, helping push out the fuel. And at this point, I think, yeah, we're full of fuel, we're full of water. So we're ready to turn on the quarry. Uh, that's an hour of quarry set up in a sorted out clean way. Actually, I don't think it was an hour. I don't know how long it took me to do those once I sped it up. I'll probably speed it up a little bit more. I'll probably speed it up earlier than I said I did because this whole like this whole thing is actually a pretty straightforward process. So, yeah, I mean, at this point, I just have to turn everything on. And we'll be seeing this go in the background of episodes to come now on 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 hopefully i don't have to turn it off and on a lot because when it was above ground and that oh where it was originally i had to turn them off and on a lot to let them oops, to let them cool down because the only coolant i'm using is water and i don't know how to cool otherwise but yeah, so now they're all pumping away. The gas is making them produce a lot more energy than they would have normally. So you see the frame going in. And that water right there is just going to be cut off. I should probably just block it off. That way it's not doing weird stuff later. So it's already finished the frame, I think, or almost finished the frame. Yeah. Oh, damn. Finished laser and got everything, too. So those 12 engines are making it shoot by super fast. Uh, it's jumping around because there's gaps in those things. Here, let me go and try and show you uh, what it's doing. Because it's going to stay on this side for a while. So yeah, you saw how it just did that. Where did it go? So it's, it does it level by level. Oh, what's up, spider? You want to try that again, bud? But you see how it's picking all those things up? It's coming through real quick and doing it. Because it's going so fast. It goes at different speeds depending on what you have powering it. I have a bunch of gas engines now. When I first did this, I had Sterling engines, which are powered by coal. They went super slow. It took forever to get it going. And then there's the more consistent, uh, uh, what are those engines called? Combustion engines powered with residue. Those ones worked pretty good too because they were they were slower, and thus they they didn't heat up as much. They did produce residue though, so that had to be taken out. Yeah, see, this is why I should. Probably should have did the house first. Ain't gonna lie. But I'm finna finish that right now. Don't need any more shit like this. Eat. Boop. Hose. Alright. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and work on the house now. And I should be able to... Hang on. Sorry. Again, this villager in here is attra attracts zombies to my house. Or to my workshop. Hopefully it didn't kill, get inside and kill. It was close though. Good, good try. Um, I don't know when this is gonna reset. Uh, oh, stuff is going up there. What, what's going? Is it the coal? No, it's up. It's above me. Ooh, this is really exciting. What is it? Co copper? Copper. It's copper going. Yeah. So we picked copper ore already. So now it's being processed. Uh, everything's already been slurred up, I guess. Oh, it really went fast. Yeah, we have the clean uh, copper slurry now. Hopefully, I don't need to increase my water uh, production again. But, no. I mean, if it happens, it happens. It's actually not that bad of a system to increase. All right. Oh, if the sounds of these machines get annoying to you, just let me know. I mean, I'm fine with them because, you know, it's a workshop. I also found these Ender O's when I was making the stuff. I, for I forgot all about these for a second. So when I was making the stuff for Ender I.O. Up, up here, I think I made this thing or this thing, one of the two, and it gave me this bowl of Ender O's. And uh, I'm going to eat them now that I'm recording. Oh? <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. That was pretty fun. I got to make more of those. I said it was supposed to make me nauseous or something, too. What's up, dog? Oh, you think you cool with your little gold armor? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, also fix the uh, the nether portal to not teleport me. To have a different uh, spawn location and stuff. I need clear glass also. But yeah, alright. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to speed it up now. So enjoy whatever it's finished.
so i finished out the walls and the glasses where i wanted to be i think these two little pieces might get replaced with a lamp later uh, and i might replace some of the lights around with lamps too uh, i got the tortoise right here for the roof i'm gonna use maple wood i'm gonna try uh, you'll see when it, when you come back because i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet but it's basically i think it's just gonna be a slope of steps coming from this side all the way up till it's high enough to get over the uh, top of this uh, i think that's how i'm gonna do it so it's gonna be one diagonal slope uh, a shed roof i believe it's what it's called if i remember correctly from uh potw classes in high school uh was it architecture we took can't remember don't know why we took that one i think it was the only one that was offered and there, there were good classes uh if you did the work correctly yeah okay but over here we're looking pretty good actually this is pretty far down for just starting off let me go Ooh, that that kind of caught me let me check the heat on them real quick though because i do believe at about this time they might be overheating a little so they have no fuel in them so the heat is automatically coming down anyways it's probably only being powered by these last two then it's kind of annoying i'm gonna leave them all though is that water which one is on the bottom don't want to do that could have swore hang on a second yeah this one got is corrupted basically And let me fix this real quick. I had a feeling this would happen. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I had a feeling that would happen. Uh, where... In. No. Don't need to go anywhere. Where the the water one would... The, the fuel one would become empty and the water one would push into it. I thought that might happen, uh, but I didn't do anything about it because I thought it wasn't likely to happen, considering what's happening. I need to build another. Um, no, that's not what I need to do. I do need to change something, though. I need to get. Um, um, I need fluid. I need fluid. I need cobblestone and I need levers. I need to pull. I'm going to pull back the. Uh, the um what's supposed to be the fuel one by one and then set up a whole new uh sterling engine and all that setup i think the louder clicks is salt and uh what you call it being processed anyways so back to the quarry i can delete remove that back to the quarry and yeah but you can see everything's getting pumped in through here Marble goes straight back. Cobblestone's getting pushed down. Have we gotten any non-sorted things yet? Yeah, we have flint. Ooh, I do need to move flint out. And sand. Flint needs to be... Our sand needs to be trashed. Flint needs to be split. Actually, I think I can just trash all the flint. Uh, trash is black. Because I, I have like a couple thousand flint. I'm not going to use any of that. All right. Uh, this is why you have to check too. You can just let it run. Gravel. Gravel can get uh, filtered out. Yeah, flint and gravel. I'm fine with clay. Clay should be cool. Gravel also needs to go into the trash. Another thing too, if you're pushing it somewhere and it doesn't have where to go, like let's say I accidentally put gravel in the white one, it goes up top. Uh, it can't go left, can't go right, can't come back down because it's just going to get pushed back up. It's going to shoot off the top. Kind of a cool function. Funny to look at. Uh, really annoying if you don't notice it and then it's just happening. Uh, the water. I need to fix this. All right, I'm gonna do that real quick and then bring you back and explain it. Uh, starting setting all of this up, I accidentally made an air pocket that I'm not upset about. All right, so fuel's coming back through again, and everything's getting fueled back up okay and this should still be filled with water it makes sense on why they had so much water and no real heat build up hopefully from the outside everything's fine 
that one lever powers both of those so it's going to be kind of awkward when I turn that off because it won't be able to that's on I don't think this one turns on a lot because technically that's always full but hopefully it is still on but at least I know that um, it's not going to I also died while trying to set this up it's not going to mix again uh, kind of silly of me to assume that it wouldn't really put faith in things working out for no reason okay so now I put a um I put a chunk loader right by the oil setup so that should stay loaded in and pushing uh oil constantly. What am I doing? Uh the quarry power. Alright, cool. And I like how it's green too. This is the only part again of my systems that are that is dirty. It will produce in real life uh some sort of gas. Not gas, but like well I guess it is a gas. Uh, greenhouse gas, that's what I wanted to say. So, we see everything's going in, getting sorted out as it's supposed to be. So yeah, that's all set up. And the next video you see will have the house's roof finished. I can look out from here to see it. I can look out from this one too, but I might just put a door here instead and like make, some, make a ladder down or something. Because this is going to be for enchanting uh, whenever I get to that portion of my levels but I think for real this time I want to do an armor and the next time the next time I record this because I hopefully I also know which uh, long range weapon y'all want to see me use it's between shurikens and longbows um, so there's that and I think that's all for this video so thanks for watching the socials are below make sure you hit the bell I was talking to one of my friends like do you post on YouTube anymore I'm like well you obviously didn't hit the bell like you were supposed to real life conversations I have now just for fun though I really don't care that much it's more fun for me it'd be nice to make money but I'm having fun with it all right bye